If you'll it up. notice, <laughs> the wedge wood that has occupied that corner for <laughs> far too long has been moved to the china cabinet, which you'll see in your upper left corner. It's being stored in there until that thing finds a home. Yeah. Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim, and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dukes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. The captain is on vacation. The man who wears many hats has arrived. Welcome. My name is Tim. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay, Etsy, Macari, Poshmark, Grailed, Depop. I don't think I forgot any. No. No. <laughs> so, um, it is Tuesday after Memorial Day, and we are about to show you everything that's sold from Monday, what is that? Monday the 18th? to Monday the 25th. So we had a bunch of really big profit items sell and we're super excited because sales were really slow, but this roller coaster is going back up. And hopefully we'll go down <laughs> fast and come back up really fast. Yeah, that's probably not a good analogy. Yeah, no, but yeah. you get the picture. Yeah. So uh, I guess we will just jump right into things, and I think we're going to start with, so we'll do something, we'll do Macari out the way really fast, because we made sales on Macari, eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, and Grailed over this span of uh, Monday to Monday, but only one sale on Macari. The good thing is that it is an item that I picked up recently, and it's already sold. So if you guys saw my... Um, I went over what I picked up in an auction in another haul video, I mean another what sold video, and this was a vintage 1996 limited edition uh, model kit, it was a 28 Lincoln I believe, and I picked that up in the auction, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it, I think it was like 7 seven and $9, somewhere in that range. and. It sold on Macari for $33, and that included shipping. So that is gone out the door, really quick sale. I think I had listed it, it was up for maybe a day, if that. So that's the only thing that sold on Macari. So let's jump right into eBay now. So on eBay, we sold this really awesome vintage Tiffin glass. It was a uranium glass uh, dolphin candlestick. And we picked this up at the auction for $5. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up top for you guys to check that video out. And that sold for $29.99 plus shipping. The next thing that sold on eBay was a big ticket item. This was a vintage Cambridge glass green draped lady bashful Charlotte uranium glass. It's a flower frog. And I picked this up at an estate sale for $10. I was super stoked. I had it listed on Etsy for a long time. I cross-listed it to eBay, and it was probably on eBay for a couple of months. And I finally got a bite. And that sold for $255 plus shipping. Next thing that sold on eBay was this uh, remote control. It was a JVC remote control. And that was $11.99 plus shipping. Then the hats have started to roll out. If you have not seen our vintage uh, hat unboxing video live with Cernox Connection, it is a must watch. It is absolutely amazing. So basically what I started doing was listing the first batch of hats that uh, didn't need any restoring done, didn't need any clean done, they were ready to go. Most of them were hats that are not necessarily super valuable hats, but they are flying out the door, and I'm pretty excited about that. So this was a Budweiser Dale Earnhardt Jr. number eight Chase Authentics strap back hat, and that sold for $11.99 plus shipping. The next thing that sold on eBay was this vintage lot of unique collectible dice with bag. 
Uh, somebody wanted to buy just two of the dice, so I kind of gave him a deal on the whole lot. But these came from my mom. She, she thought they were lottery dice. She would just use them to pick lottery numbers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, we they were very lucky. Yeah. They were sitting in a box, so we listed those, and they sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Up next is this really awesome vintage Washington Redskins Cliff Engel. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Never do. But it's a wool blend sweater, very old school 80s uh, sort of vibe. And that sold for $38.39 plus shipping. So even the sweaters are moving in, in the middle of spring summer transition, which is awesome. This is another really cool shirt. This is a vintage single stitch tie dye shirt. And it's made in the USA, size large. I picked this up in an estate sale right before lockdown, and I paid a dollar for it. And that sold for $25 plus shipping. So nice profit once again. Next up on eBay was uh, a board game. I'm surprised that this has lasted as long as it has with everybody selling board games lately. Uh, this was Smart Ass, the board game. My mom got a kick out of that name. Um, the cool thing about this is I see Nick and Andrea on their quiz channel, Let's Get Quizzical. I'll put a little thing down here for you guys. If you haven't subscribed and you like quizzes, it's pretty fun. Uh, so this is a smart ass, the board game. It was unopened and that sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Next up, I had this for a pretty long time. I thought it was going to sell fast because the Marvels and Avengers stuff sell pretty quick. But this was a really cool book. Um, I don't know what was inside because it was sealed and I didn't want to open it, obviously, but it sold for $18.74 plus shipping. And next thing that sold on eBay was, if you guys haven't seen our last video, which we just put out two days ago, maybe? Yeah, I think uh, so. We went to the flea market on Saturday <clears throat> and then I listed this uh, calculator on Sunday night. It is a brand new TI-84 CE color graphing calculator, white, and it was in the package, everything. I paid $20 for it at the flea market. If you didn't see our flea market video, I'll put a link up there for you. And this sold for $100 plus shipping, and it was gone in less than 24 hours. So pretty stoked about that. Great profit, quick out the door. Next thing that sold, another sweater. Uh, this is a Polo Ralph Lauren V-neck heavy knit sweater maroon size large. And that sold for $38.39 plus shipping. I picked that up at the thrift store. I think I paid like six bucks for that. Um, and then this is another hat from the Vintage Hat Law. This was a Scotland School for Veteran Children snapback hat. Uh, it's a really interesting backstory with this school. I, I did a little research when looking up the hat. Uh, it was the only school in the country that was dedicated for children of veterans. Uh, it closed down, but it has recently been bought out by somebody. And they're going to restore the all the buildings and the properties and use it for veterans as well. So that's a pretty cool story. Awesome hat. It's sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next up, another piece from our uranium glass video so if you haven't seen my dukes and i made a video and showed you guys how to photograph uranium glass to sell online and it's a really cool piece i love this piece i'm sad to see it go uh i would have liked to get a little bit more money but i just i, I you know you got to take what you can get and it, i mean the profit margin was crazy i paid like six or seven dollars for this piece is a vintage Fenton glass opalescent green with the cobalt blue crest, which is like the trim area around the top of the compo. And it, the pattern was thumbnail, beautiful uranium glass, and that sold for $59.99 plus shipping. That was a nice piece. Yeah, it was. So that's everything that sold <laughs> on eBay and Macari Monday through Monday. So now I want to show you guys really quickly how I have changed the, did a little bit of work on this area and if cleaned it up. If you'll notice, <laughs> the wedge wood that has occupied that corner for <laughs> far too long has been moved to the china cabinet, which you'll see in your upper left corner. It's being stored in there until that thing finds a home. Yeah. In front of it is the nice piece of uh, 
shaving cup that we discussed <laughs> last night. <laughs> And the white hall teapot. I and the green teapot. And the green teapot. So, yeah, Ma Duke's got her uh, her bonus check-in. Yeah. In payment of teapots. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and show you guys what's sold on Grailed, Poshmark, and Etsy. So, we've been working hard, trying to get organized, get this small workspace that I have over here at Ma Duke's house. To be a little bit more, you know, efficient. Efficient. So, it, you know, you kind of increase my work activity, which is a good thing when you're trying to run a business. So, my Duke's got her little area of cleaning, cleaned, which is pretty, Supplies, yeah. pretty rad. And then here we have our table where we keep all of the orders that are getting ready to go out. So once we finish this video, we're gonna start packing these orders to be shipped tomorrow. We have our little to-do list. We've been crossing those off today. It's been a great day, productive-wise. Uh, we added this shelf here. All these things are pretty much, everything on this shelf is listed except for this Kleenex box. We're gonna, we're gonna work on this? I'm tired of working on it. You can have fun with it. <laughs> and then these bottles, which are, we're getting ready to put together in lots and lists. Um, then a over here, a few more bottles. Anybody need a washer? <laughs> okay. Uh, so I started processing the, the shirts, getting ready to start photographing those. Um, right here, you can see we have all of the jewelry that we've been working on. Um, and then the desk is nice and clean. Except for that top shelf. It's a little busy for me. But it's clean. We Did removed, you dust it? We, no, we removed okay, a couple things. Gotta... I dusted everything else, though. Yeah. Okay. And then we changed up this little area here. So I have my label printer right there, my scale right here. So once I get the, the package, I can put it on a scale, print the label out the door. Now this, and then we have all of our poly bags down here. And then this is the death pile. So oh, show them the other death pile. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. This is, that's the next level death, death, death pile. Death pile number two. So that's just a few things we're going to go. But this is the uh, the rest of the death pile. So we're working on this stuff. And then we've organized all these bins. Um, so I have jackets and non-t-shirts in this bin. All dress shirts or college shirts in here. All soccer jerseys in here, all t-shirts in there. And then these are hats that have already been listed. And then we're going to remove this. And I have all my hard goods. So I got everything in a box here. I got all my camera stuff. Toys and plush. Board games and boxes and puzzles. Anything that's in a package. And then bags. So everything is pretty much organized right now in there. And then this is death pile stuff right here. And then over here we have empty bins since we consolidated. I got sweaters and shoes all there. And then over here, my deuce is still so far away from me. I don't she Sorry. never Bye. understands that concept. <laughs> over here we got some stuff that we're gonna list today. So, yeah. Here's my ponies. And, okay. and my mom and my sister's rabbits, but I don't want to see They're them. hiding. <laughs> And so now we're going to jump back into what sold. So thank you guys for tuning in. All right. So thank you guys for sticking with us. As you can see, I put in a lot of work uh, trying to get organized, trying to get this ball rolling. You know, sometimes you just got to kick yourself in the butt and make things happen. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what sold on Grailed and Poshmark. So the hats, once again, are rolling out the door on Grailed, um, on all platforms, but especially Grailed. So the first hat we have that's sold on Grailed is this vintage snapback trucker hat, 90s camo duck, it had like ducks on the, the <coughs> front, and that sold for $20. Um, now these Grailed prices will include shipping, I believe. So that was $20. The next hat that sold was this uh, vintage snapback uh, San Antonio 90s. It uh, still had the tag on it, like a nice tourist hat, really cool graphic on the front, and that sold for $25. Next up was this uh, bundle of hats. So a customer reached out to me and wanted to make a deal on two hats. 
and it was a totally a great deal. Uh, so I sold this uh, vintage Seattle Supersonics uh, snapback hat and this uh, vintage Disney hat, and I bundled those up for sixty dollars. Um, that's a great deal. So the basically what I did was is I did forty five dollars for the Seattle hat, fifteen dollars for the Mickey Mouse hat, and free shipping, which only cost me five dollars. So it's great. Great turnaround. And then this one was really interesting. I, this was a hat that was in the mix of those, that hat lot. And I had, I didn't think it was ever going to sell, but it sold to somebody in Canada. And it's like a Jesus hat. It says, depend on God. And it's got the red bulldog on it. And that sold for $21, uh, basically $10 and $11 shipping. Next up on Grailed was this. This was a really nice one. Even Ma Dukes like this. This was a, a Cody Wyoming hat black snap back with gold decal on it it was pretty rad in great shape too yeah pristine shape and so that sold for twenty dollars on grailed so those are the hats that sold on grailed now i'm going to show you guys what sold on poshmark first up on poshmark was this carhartt long sleeve button-up shirt uh navy blue and that sold for 29 dollars then we had this uh michael jordan snapback hat it was it was a really interesting color scheme. It was like uh almost like Tennessee Volunteers. It was like this really cool kind of orange and gray. And that sold for nineteen dollars. Next up was this soccer jersey. I've had this soccer jersey a long time and I've had a lot of I had a lot of um likes on it on every single platform. I had low ball offers left and right. Finally, somebody bought it on full price on Poshmark, $55 for this soccer jersey. I picked this up at a uh, thrift store with Josie. Um, I can't remember. I think I paid like $4 for it. So another great profit. Next up to sell on Poshmark was this vintage 90s South Mountain fish and game hat. It is rad color scheme. Uh, and that did not last long. I think it sold within 24 hours. And a lot of these hats did not last long because I just started listing them. So these are like really quick sellers right now that I'm going over. This hat sold for $25. Uh, and then this one came in last night. I made a, took an offer on it. This was a vintage 90s USA free forever patch on a trucker hat. And that sold for $20 on Poshmark. So that's everything that sold on Poshmark and Grailed. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump right into Etsy. Man, we are flying through these sales. I gotta, I gotta re up on a little sip of coffee. You have fun in the live last night, Mom? Yeah, it was, it was fun. So if you guys haven't seen our lives, every Monday night, Ma Dukes, Josie, and myself, we go live. We try and teach you guys a bunch of stuff about uh, what we do. And then we also, you know, just kinda. What was the word? Chat it up. Chat it up. Have a good time. You know, the chat's always live. Enjoy the resellers that check in. Yeah. Good bunch of people. My Dukes is starting to kind of, you know, enjoy watching other resellers' content, which is pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, I started with OBX. <laughs> Shout out to Eric at OBX Pickers. I'll put a little thing down there for Mr. him. Mr. Tar Heel. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and run through this Etsy stuff. So first up, Wedgwood Jasperware, the streak continues. Man, this is crazy. We've been selling Jasperware every video. And that was one of the hardest things. To sell when we first started. started. Yeah, it was down, it was in the tank. I would check eBay and I thought, nope, now's not the time to sell it. It's just too far down. And what did I do? I bought low. Bought Oh, I'm talking about well, my... Well, yeah, your stuff, I it know. It was my stuff when in the beginning that was our original inventory of Jasperware. It was everything that I was trying to get rid of, and it was just like moving so slow. And then finally, this just one dude checked in, and boom, we sold like three quarters of it practically to this one fella. And then Timothy decided to start adding it to the inventory after it was all gone and started picking up different colors like, you know, white on yellow and crazy colors i didn't even know Existed. wedgwood made and i guess there's a market for it out there they're collectors that still collect yeah and then this is an original like you know the the color you see normally this was a vintage wedgwood jasper wear cream on pale blue eight inch round sacrifice bowl 
Uh, this is the second or third one of these we've sold so far. Mine was the first one. Yeah, yours was the first one. And so the buyer is all in on this item for $98.47. Oh, I lost my place. Schnikes. All right. Next up was this uh, vintage uh, Vista Allegre pink lavender Victorian style vanity jar or humidor. I wasn't really sure what it was, but it was pretty. Uh, I picked this up at an estate pretty. sale for next to nothing on, uh, on a Sunday. Yeah, it was, it was a really cool looking piece. And that sold for $39.84. The buyer was all in for. Next, we have this vintage Fenton glass French opalescent optic swirl ruffled top hat vase. And it is a beaut. And the buyer was all in on that for $41. Excuse me. And 23 cents. And we have another Wedgwood piece. This was a vintage Wedgwood Jasperware cream on green. It was a little mini bud vase. I actually have one of I kept for myself right here. This one has a chip on it, which is why I kept it for myself. So yeah, that sold. The buyer was all in on that piece for $41.84. The next thing that sold on Etsy was a Jadeite Anchor Hawking Fire King. Alice was the name of the pattern. Saucer. Uh, I got this in a whole bunch, a lot of plates. And so I kind of just uh, sold them individually. Not for a lot of money, but in the end, it, it, like replacements. Yeah, yeah, it works. It calculates well. So that sold, the buyer was all in for $14.38. Next up was this uh, vintage stoneware. It was a Born Denby Clegg and Son Wantage Advertising Stoneware Ginger Beer Bottle. And the buyer was all in on that bottle. I, I'm a sucker for these things. I really like just the appeal and look of them. I think they're great decor pieces. The buyer was all in for $28.64 on that. Next up, okay, this thing is this giant Satsuma style three footed covered dish, like very Asian antique inspired, but not uh, necessarily an Asian antique. I took a gamble on this at a state sale down the street from Ma Duke's house. I'm, I think I paid like $4, $5 for it. I was thinking to myself, ooh, that's a dog. <laughs> Yeah, but we're gonna be having that big, big thing sitting around for a while. But it didn't sit around Not for too really. long. Spent, you know? It was only like a couple, couple of months. months. Yeah, yeah it was I mean, this we summer. We didn't really get that much money for it, but it's hey, it's gone. That's yeah. the big thing because that thing took up a nice space on the shelf in the storage well, unit. That's like four months, Timothy. What is it? Four months? Well, yeah. Summer was like it was like in what July? No, it was August. August. Oh, it was in the fall. Okay, sept okay, we'll give it September. October, November, December, January, February. Okay, it was like six time. months. <laughs> all right, so that sold for $46.57. The buyer was all in for. Next up was this cute little Scotty Dog ceramic trinket box. Uh, that was literally just uh, in the cabinet, and we cleared it out. It's sitting in front of mom. We got to pack that up today. Uh, that sold for $41.92. The buyer was all in for, so it's 100% profit, basically. Next up, the Pyrex. Thank God we picked up some new Pyrex this weekend at the flea market because we sold a lot of it over the last seven days. This was a what they call the Pyrex, I mean the Pixie casserole dishes. It's a small one, uh, vintage Pyrex yellow Pixie casserole dish, and the buyer was all in on that for $16.46. Next up was, uh, this is a vintage promotional Pyrex. It's called Hex Signs. It was the large round mixing bowl, and the buyer was all in on that for $37.73. Next up, this was an old piece. This actually belonged to Ma Dukes. This has been around for a long time in the store. It finally sold. It's a vintage Anchor Hawking Moonstone Clear Opalescent Round Puff Box with Lid. Um, and the buyer is all in on that piece for $28.82. Then we have this really cool looking ashtray. I, I thought it was dope. I'm a sucker for that gaudy gold look, you know. And so it was a vintage Cresta Gold Sabin ashtray. It's a souvenir piece from Richmond, Virginia. And the buyer was all in on that piece for $19.77. Next up, we have a vintage Pyrex large refrigerator dish 
503. Another piece of Pyrex out the door. If you guys have not seen the Pyrex cleaning video, it is a must watch. I'll drop the link right up there. I don't know if I ran out of links to drop yet, but we'll see. Hopefully not. Next up, oh, and that piece, the buyer was all in for $20.74. Then we have a person who ordered two pieces of Pyrex in one order. The first one was a vintage Pyrex Autumn Harvest Round Cinderella Casserole. That one was uh, had some damage on it, and it sold for $9.99. And then the vintage Pyrex Woodlands, same size, sold for $9.99. The buyer was all in for both pieces for $32.19. Next up, this is a vintage pair of yellow handled kitchen tools. One is a grater and one is a parchment. Uh, they're really cool looking, great for decor. I mean, you, they're definitely still usable. This is going to be a gift for somebody's granddaughter who likes to cook. So we'll put a little handwritten card in there. All right. We're flying. We're flying through these. Next up, these were really awesome. Vintage Jeanette glass pair of gold speckled condiment jars. Super mid-century modern. Uh, and the buyer was all in on those pair, that pair for $36.67. Next up, I have sold my first hats on Etsy. So when I started listing these hats, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try and start selling some of these on Etsy. This person bought two hats one was the South Mountain Fish and Game Pennsylvania Snapback Hat. The other one was a Glacier Park Montana Stratback Hat, uh, which was made in the USA. And the buyer was all in on those two hats for $39.20. Next up was this big, massive, vintage Fenton Glass Silver Crest Banana Stand. It is humongous. My Dukes is shaking her head because she's just thinking about how she has to pack that thing. <laughs> yeah, but it's been sitting around taking It has been. I, I actually rented that piece out to a friend of mine to use at a party. Uh, so I kind of already made a little bit of money on that too, which is pretty cool. Uh, but the buyer was all in on that piece for $60.29. I actually got that at an antique mall booth that was like 50% off sale. So I only paid like $6 for it. It was insane. I thought it was going to go for a lot more fast, but I guess, you know, certain silver crest cake stands will do really well, but the banana yeah. stand wasn't as valuable as the cake stand. It's kind is. of an odd shape. I mean, cake stands are, can be decorative too, but this is like, first off, people are going to say, what do you do with that? Unless you're a collector. Yeah. I mean, it's a cool looking piece. I think it's awesome. But this next piece was a home run in profit, home run sale. This was a zebra figurine that was sitting in my, my mom's cabinet that my dad had collected at some point. And it is an antique zebra figurine made in Staffordshire. I think I said it right this time. Uh, shout out to all my UK viewers. I love you guys. Uh, your support is amazing. So yeah, so this is an antique zebra figurine made in England, Staffordshire. And it sold, the buyer was all in. It, they bought it on Memorial Day sale, so they got a nice discount. But the buyer was all in for $114.75. Amazing. That's a miracle that that piece survived. <sighs> I think when you and your sister were little, we used to have an animal shelf that we displayed, you know, animals, all those ceramic animals on, the tiger, the zebra, the camels, and all that. Just for the kids, how that any of that survived, I'll never know. <laughs> things were getting broken right and left yeah. with kids. Uh, next up are these little sake cups, which we've had for a long time. Remember when I got those? Yeah. So these four little sake cups sold their vintage set of four Gagaiken finest sake cups. And the buyer was all in for $19.05. We have a lot of, um, for some reason, you want started buying sake sets <laughs> along with the tea There's cups. no more sake stuff left, though. You got rid of all the all sake, the sake sets stuff sets sold. are gone. Huh? Yeah, okay, good. Next up was this gorgeous vintage Fenton Glass Empress Blue Opalescent 8-ounce cream pitcher. It's more of the later years of Fenton, still vintage, uh, but it still had the tag on it, too. I think you might have got this either at the Fenton factory or at QVC probably got it from the factory yeah so the buyer was all in on that little picture for 56 dollars and one cent next up we sold another hat on etsy look at that this is this program has been interrupted 
for a thank you to Josie's mom, Angie, and Jonna for this absolutely amazing homemade seafood feast. Crabs, sausage, potatoes, corn on the cob, shrimp, and watermelon. Thank you, Maria's Kitchen. You are amazing. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. And guess what? We sold another snapback hat on Etsy. This was a vintage 90s Dale Earnhardt Winston Cup champion snapback rope hat made in the USA. I have two of these from the hat lot. So the first one I listed already and it sold. Um, the buyer was all in for that hat for $34.62. And the last thing that sold on Etsy from Monday to Monday it was a big sale. This was a vintage Rosenthal China. Moss Rose was the name of the pattern. This top and the bottom were both sterling silver. It was a salt and pepper shaker set. I picked these up at an estate sale for $14. And the buyer was all in for $120.76. So we are back on the board feels good just needed to put in the work uh i really just cracked down and was like i'm gonna get organized i'm gonna improve my working habits and areas like i work hard but sometimes you just have to like throw in some change and like not necessarily... otherwise you spin yeah it's like you just get overwhelmed with the uh Day -day mess, of, mess of it all, the yeah. day-to-day -day operations, you let stuff pile up. So I just, you know, kind of just needed to like take a step back, refocus, and then list hard, and put in the work, and just do it a different Clean way. Up. Yeah, so I'm super excited because I was getting a little worried there, bills need to get paid. Uh, this is my full-time job and career, so uh, I do want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for all your love and support. I, it's just been, it's been crazy. Like this growth of the YouTube channel, I put in a lot of work and to see people enjoying it and having fun and learning, it means a lot to me. So we want to thank you guys. <laughs> My Dukes is giving me the uh, Apollo stage <laughs> exit, wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you guys soon with the new video. Peace.